Hey everyone! Today we are going to make a custom welcome mat for your house. So first we're going to just put the stencil here on the mat. Um, this takes a little bit of finesse. Um, it's a little bit tricky to get going but once you start peeling it off it's going to just go pretty quickly. Um, just watch for any letters like an O or B that has a part that comes out. You can see here that it came out uh, but it also uh, catches. You can see here I've taped all the way around the stencil. It's just to keep it even more secure. I've added back in the center parts of some of the letters. Here I'm using some tacks to secure any parts that may come up while you're spraying. Um, you want to make sure it's as secure as possible or else um, the stencil won't take as well. I'm just taping the back of the stencil here to cover up part of the mat and protect it. I would recommend covering most of the mat with some newspapers and flyers, any scrap paper that you may have, just to protect from the spray paint getting on any parts that you don't want. Here's the fun part. I'm just going to test out the spray paint here. Now the key when spray painting on the stencils, you're going to do small bursts just so you don't get too much spray paint everywhere and make sure to hold it straight up and down on top of the stencil. And I'm just following the letters here and just making sure I cover any spots that have not been covered with paint. If you do happen to spray on an angle, you do run the risk of getting paint under the stencil and blurring some of the lines of the words. Here I'm just repeating the same steps with the other part of my stencil, making sure all of the letters are straight and laying flat and adding any of the in-between pieces that have come off when I was peeling the decal. When you're painting, I would recommend doing two or three coats of paint, um, letting each dry in between. Um, because the more paint you have on your mat, the longer it's going to stay and look great. Once you are done doing all the spray, you can peel off the stencil. I'm taking here just the little parts off first and just be really careful when peeling it off just in case any of the paint is still damp. You don't want to spray, spread any of it onto the mat. There you have it folks. Thanks for crafting with me.